Welcome to another video about growing Mativo. This is I Simulate from Foxly. If this is your first time watching my channel, I explore different simulation games and share gameplay videos of those I like. Subscribe to my channel if you're also a simulation game lover. Having witnessed the power of trebuchets in the previous episode, I decided to rebuild more parts of our settlement with limestone bricks. We are lucky that there were a lot of limestone deposits around Foxley. We started with the main building. After that, we proceed to remake the roof about our front yard with limestone slates. Foxley welcomed its tenth settler and won another raid. Bit by bit, brick by brick, our settlers continue to fortify the rest of the settlement. Our hard work paid off. Foxley became the most influential settlement dominating the entire region. Pilgrims traveled from far and wide to witness its splendor. Great! To be honest, personally, I prefer the original roof made of hay and the original walls made of clay or wood. Those blend more naturally with the surroundings, but they would fall in no time in front of the trebuchets. Now that we had more settlers, it's important to make sure we had enough food for everybody through winter. Our research team unlocked the second stage of food preservation that allowed our chefs to make packaged meals. Soon, I realized one stove was not sufficient. We need one to make lavish meals for the settlers' day-to-day -day consumption and another one to make packaged meals in preparation for winter. So, I built a second floor to our kitchen and placed a second stove there. Mariota was our tenth joiner. She's spending winter in Foxley for the first time. Her mood hovered around 30% most of the time, meaning she was very often annoyed. At the beginning, I didn't understand why, because the other settlers were okay. Later on, I realized she had these two perks of being listless and contemplative. Her mood dropped more quickly. I tried to pay her more attention, like getting someone to make her nice apparels. But before that was done, her mood dropped below 15%. She became rebellious. Instead of following the schedule, she spent time praying, on entertainment, eating. It lasts for about one day in game. Those activities brought her mood up to 59%. She was normal again. It's good those coping mechanisms kick in before she became broken. Our two defense towers had been very effective at keeping the bandits at bay if they came from this side of the map. As enemies could approach from any direction, I had to seal off their other options. I extend the trench so they were forced to go between the two towers, and on the other side of the settlement, I built two more defense towers and closed the gap with a nice brick wall, leaving a door for our settlers who want to go to that side of the map. In this way, we again restrict the roots of our enemies. It's a bit disappointing that Foxley hadn't seen another trebuchet until now, after we completed our defenses. We scored a couple more raid victories rather easily. Please, bandits, do not come. We are Foxley. You cannot win. Foxley continued to celebrate its golden age and grew to 13 settlers. Mood in the settlement improved because with more pairs of hands to share the workload, the settlers could sleep more, play more, and work less. I will make another video when Foxley engages with trebuchets again or when the game releases new contents. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video as well as the game. Stay tuned and enjoy going medieval. See you next time. Take care.